Thank you. Thank you. And also thank you for giving the opportunity to be here around with the science people and, 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 and other people. Um, being the Netherlands as a, as a president for, for the EU at this moment, uh, being a president is not the, the most easy uh, task um, in giving the uh, uh, giving giving the opinion of the member state itself. So uh, I'm very reluctant to say very much about the negotiations which are, which are going on in the European Union at this moment on on the circle economy uh, package. But I'll say, tell some things. Um, but mainly what I what I want to do is uh, maybe you can give the next slide. Mainly what I, what I want to explain is how we work in the Netherlands on circular economy from a policy perspective. Um, I think, yeah, some say uh, we work already three years on, on this perspective, but looking uh, backwards, I, I work for about 26 years in the Ministry of Environment, or it went to other ministries as well. Uh, um, and I recognize several uh, things in the circular in what's now called the circular economy. Uh, extended producer responsibility is part of it. Uh, cradle to cradle is a part of it. Uh, uh, value chain management is a part of it. So we have all kinds of things are uh, into went into the, the 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 name of circular economy. Um, Maybe you can have the next slide. Where where do we do it for? Um, I think in this audience I don't have to explain it, but uh, what we see in the Netherlands is that um, now still in, in all kinds of ministries, in all minds, we see that we, we have to 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 tackle this this uh, this slide that we have to work within the, the planetary boundaries and that's something which is coming into the mind uh, uh, yet and i think this this figure is also one of the uh, uh, figures from the industrial uh, ecologists uh, who who made it uh, maybe the next slide what about the Netherlands in a circular economy? I'll tell you something about our program we have uh, for, uh, formulated two years ago, which is called From Waste to Resource. Uh, at that moment, we couldn't call it a circular economy program because nobody knew at that moment what is circular economy. So also our minister said, I know something about waste. Waste is, is political more interesting than circular economy at that moment. But uh, what you see in this, in this slide, in this slide is uh, where are we now? Uh, we are not in, uh, anymore in this linear economy, but what is where we are Sometimes uh, the Netherlands uh, say we are some of the best in it, but then we are in an economy with recycling, with a feedback, a big feedback mechanism. And what you, what I see in when companies tell they are working on circular economy, or when a country or we say we are working on a circular economy, I think we still are in that phase of changing the economy. It's a, it's a a kind of a linear economy but with a good feedback mechanism and uh, so that's why my speech uh, um, I, I, I gave it the title that the circular economy is more than only recycling um, and in in the next phase which will be the the circular economy uh, uh, at the end and I think we can reach it 20 30 years maybe we are there um, that's uh, that's more complicated. I think that we have some examples on uh, uh, circular economy. We see it in the bio-based economy because there you see more and more products from uh, which are bio-based and they are uh, uh, they 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 are very very innovative. Uh, it's more than in uh, I think the in, in in the industrial side of it. 
um, maybe the next slide. What what's our program? We set uh, from race to resource. We have to be uh, sustainable in our sourcing, and there we have many actions on on this. Uh, uh, we did a big study on the risks of resources used in the Netherlands because we wanted to know which kind of companies or which sectors are very uh, are, uh, will have problems in, in, in future in getting their resources. Um, it was uh, with, with, um, with many aspects were in this study, with environmental aspects, social aspects as well, because uh, labor or uh, the conditions of of, uh, res of uh, sourcing the resources, and also the economic aspects, the volatility of prices, the availability, the risk in, in availability, and then we saw that some sectors in the Netherlands are more uh, dangerous uh, as as other sectors, and we built also for the companies. We we are now building a self-assessment tool for them, so they can so a company can look in what kind of resources they use and what are the dangers uh, they can prospect, and also there are, uh, what kind of opportunities they have to tackle it. So that's that's something we do on the on the sustainable sourcing side, but it's more on the production side, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, actions on the on the production side, we have in uh, uh, what what I didn't know here this morning is that the design of 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 products is very important. It's when a product is not designed for recycling or for reuse or refurbish then you can't uh, reach uh, good results in it so we made a, a training program for designers we uh, did it together with the universities and uh, so we train designers in how to make more circular design and then you can uh, clo also close it to what kind in what kind of uh, business model you can have on this the these circular products so how can you get your products back and this these are linked very much to the designing process uh, we have a program on startups because what we think is uh, it's not only the big companies who uh, have to develop but new um, movement come up from startups uh, uh, for small com companies or uh, SMEs and so we have uh, a, a big program uh, to stimulate startups going circular and also we have facilities to stimulate uh, cooperation uh, within value chain when companies want to work together to get a better uh, to get improvements in the value chain, we can stimulate this. So that's that's uh, actions we take on on the uh, on the production side. Also on, yeah, you have when you have more, uh, nice products, they have to be used. So and that's a part of circular economy, which is uh, which we we didn't grasp at this at this moment. It's it's very difficult to change behavior uh, of, of people and uh, we are still looking at what's the best way to to uh, to change behavior and we make experiments with it uh, do lots of things on, uh, in clothes and, and other uh, uh, other areas but we don't we don't know the answer it's not it's not the price who, who decides uh, what people are going to do. It's more a social uh, aspect, and we didn't grasp it. In our program, there's much attention, uh, and that's because our program came from the waste management side. It's there's much attention for more and better recycling. So improve the recycling. We can improve our uh, results in in getting the waste. Uh, to the recycling companies, um, and those actions are the most concrete actions in in our uh, in our plan. Um, but 
yeah from my point of view it's more old it, it's a bit old-fashioned it's not making the big steps but it's necessary and you can you you should do it also in the meantime uh, uh, you should improve also the recycling um, but we have to look further maybe the next one um, at this moment um, we renew our program uh, we re renew it because uh, uh, our parliament said the ministries have to work together on circular economy uh, what they see is that several ministries work uh, apart on it uh, we have a bio-based uh, economy program we have this uh, program from waste to resource we have uh, a program in the ministry of foreign affairs uh, on sustainable sourcing and then they said you should uh, put them together into one big program and that's the the phase we are now in uh, and um, we do this together with other ministries with the ministry of economic affairs with the ministry of finance it's a bit difficult to get them in because uh, uh, changing your taxes is not a good uh, uh, item to to discuss with them but they are in the ministry of social social affairs because of the labor uh, uh, part of it and also um, in, in, in improving uh, labor conditions. Uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and our Ministry, Minister of Infrastructure and the Environment. We are in the lead of it, but we work strongly together. And that's, that's very important because it has to be a broad program. Um, uh, you see on the slide the kind of interventions we are planning to do uh, we are already working on it uh, our program the from waste to resource is coming into this broad program but uh, we also chose some sectors in which we want to go further uh, we, which we try to uh, get them uh, as, as a priority and not um, uh, yeah, you see there are many similarities to the European uh, program uh, in, in those se sectors. So let's go to the European program. How do we look at this European program? Um, I think we are very happy with what the EU action plan on circular e economy is at, at this moment. It's a broad step, it's a great step uh, and also you see in this action plan that many parts of the Commission work together to, m to make it and that makes it strong. We uh, as a presidency we want to get an agreement on the council conclusions uh, in the council in, in June and we are now in the middle of the negotiations of these council conclusions but what we hear from other countries is that um, that it's there are they're also happy with, with, with this action plan so I think we can we can reach a good agreement uh, on it we have wishes in it. Uh, we have um, what 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 our aim of the presidency is that we get into the the the, the, the council conclusions also that there has to be uh, four aspects and we, we 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 make more priority in it. It's the extension of the product life, maybe longer guarantee period or something else. Uh, you can do it in, in, in several ways, but there has to be more incentives for it. Uh, make recycling more attractive. Um, for instance, uh, get higher prices in, in the, the, the price mechanisms. You can influence it as, uh, as a country. Um, make the regulations more circular that's also uh, what, yeah, what 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 you said also is the many regulations you can change them and, and then the the for instance recycling possibilities are more and more uh, uh, in inside and what we would like in this uh, circular action plan is that there has to be a good governance on on the implementation um, 
and can I have the next slide? Being for a, a, a scientific uh, uh, audience, I think um, I, I can give you some of the uncertainties we deal with uh, in making policy. Because you see, we, we know where we where we have have to go to. Where we know it. We know where we where we want to go to, but we don't know how we can go to this to this. So the roads are uncertain, and for uh, a policymaker, it's difficult to say to your uh, to your minister that we don't know exactly how we can go to this, those uncertainties are politically not very favorable but we have to have the room to make to to experiment and and to to search for solutions uh, and that's that that's that's a problem we have and what what are the main uncertainties we have um Looking at uh, a transition, see uh, see the transition to a circular economy as a transition, uh, uh, also in transition knowledge. We don't know exactly what in what phase we are in, in transition. We have a program in in the Netherlands which, which we call the acceleration of a circular economy. But I, when we started, we, we we thought we should accelerate the circular economy. But now I think we first should recognize that we want to have a circular economy. So we are in the f in the first phase still, and that means that you have to to do other actions than in an acceleration phase. The other question is: Are is every sector in the same phase? I don't think so. Uh, some sectors are more advanced than other sectors. So the bio-based economy is more uh, ahead than in uh, um, the construction sector, I, what I think. So th and that means also that you have to make other kinds of measures or uh, other kinds of policy making in those sec for those sectors. Um, so there, these are some some of the uncertainties we have, and I think that may, there has to be lo looked more on it. Uh, maybe the next slide. Uh, this is a, a slide of what kind of transition phases we are, and I think we are in the pre-phase still, not n not not yet in the acceleration phase. More people are talking about it, but it's only in recognizing where we are. Maybe the next slide. Some uncertainties as well. What, what we are are dealing with is, what what at what scale do you have as a as a government make interventions in in and which which interventions are effective? We made in our program uh, um, a, a pro program which which is which called a circular economy at the local level. Um, so we want to work together with cities and regions, uh, small regions in the Netherlands, uh, um, to to implement more uh, circular economy in it. But we also made a program on a national level, uh, and so there's there's an uncertainty at what level should you do what which kinds of things and. We are searching for it. We make experiments in this, but we have to follow it very closely in what are the results on it. And uh, talking about the results, we don't even know how to measure the progress to circular economy. We we don't have those measures. We we don't we we, we can't measure it at this moment. So we cannot talk about progress. Um, What's uh, an opportunity for the circular economy is thinking is, is uh, I think is linking it to the climate policy because that's also more uh, political of a point of view. Climate policy is in the head of in the mind of people and also in the mind of of polit politicians, and linking it to climate policy, it can improve also circular economy and also improve the attention to circular economy. So, and but that's more uh, uh, yeah a political point of view. But I think that there are many more reasons to to link it uh, together. 
So these are some of my uncertainties and we deal with these uncertainties in uh, trying in trial and error and also uh, yeah we we want to we want to know how we imp can Im improve it and maybe you can help us thank you <laughs>